All right, as promised, conquest section or sector three. Uh, just want to throw out there, I don't talk about it a whole lot on here because they are terrible, but I am a huge New York Rangers fan, and they just won 9 nothing against Philadelphia, the Flyers. Only thing better than that would be a 9 nothing win against the Penguins or a 9 nothing win against the Washington Capitals, but certainly a 9 nothing win against the Philadelphia Flyers. Definitely a very nice feeling. Okay, so Sector 3. Um, still not that bad. You'll see there are a couple matches that I do end up losing um, just from taking the wrong team in. I am not answering my work email right now. Um, or not reading the the, the mission parameters uh, as I so often am guilty of. The hardest part was getting the 40 crits versus Darth Revan, the final fight. Um, that one took me a while. That one took me a while. Uh, guys in my guild, I have to credit, actually, Nicholas. Um, he's in Chromium. He said that he got all three feats first attempt with uh, Momo, which is awesome. I am a cheap Jew and do not have Bistan or um, Hoth soldier um, really viable. Bistan is okay, but he's only Relic 3 just for the ship. Um, Not full 60s, but that's not a big deal because I could ended up mod swapping anyway and then my hoth soldier is i think he's g11 either g11 or g12 so clearly not ready uh, i often run i don't run momo in tw uh, and if i run momo at all it's in gak and i run momo with Jin urso and srp because that's a lot of reses. Sounds like a limp dick team, and it kind of is. But it's actually gotten me some holds. Because between Jin, SRP, Cara Dune, and Momo, a lot of self reses, a lot of just reses in general. Um, so it's actually not a bad Gak team. Obviously, is it woefully insufficient. In, uh, well, as it relates, uh, in Conquest Sector 3 against Darth Revan. So when we get there, you'll see how I tweak the team a little bit. And I have to say, once I tweaked the team uh, in the manner in which I do and which you'll see, uh, it, it was um, a good bit easier and it's probably it probably makes it a little bit more doable for people that don't have top notch momo teams um it's going it's going to take some rng and it's going to take some mod swapping um regardless but it actually works out uh yeah and i love running ray jawas it's such a great team. I love Ray Jawas. If there's ever a match that I am like, I like lose tunes on and I have to easily go back and three star it, I just default to Ray Jawas. Because it's, it's so easy. It's so easy. Look, yeah, sometimes you might lose one of the Jawas, but. It's really, it's, it's so much fun, and it is just so satisfying to watch all of those thermal detonators just rack up, especially against, like, Geo's teams, or even, you know, if you find an Imperial Trooper team, or GG teams, because they're constantly going, too. Um, 
I still haven't been getting a whole lot of TMR data cards, which uh, has made some of the 700 TMR feats a little bit difficult. I'm actually stuck on that right now versus Seep in Sector 4. Um, pretty much done with everything else in Sector 4 minus this, that feat, the 700 TMR. I'm trying to work on something going to have to mod swap uh, and if it works you'll see that tomorrow um yeah but so I, I do enjoy conquest um it's like I said in the previous one it's a it's a I, th I think it's an appropriate level of difficulty because I'm an 8.2 something, 8.25 million GP account. If I can just steamroll through and just like auto everything, that's not fun for me. Um, sure, I guess in theory it'd be nice to do that, but it, I just, yeah, it would be boring. It's not fun. At least this way it's fun. It's a challenge. I have to think about stuff. You know, we have to give each other tips from time to time. Um, you're not in really direct competition, so if you do lose, you're not fucking over your whole guild for TW, or you're not losing a GAC match. So, it's good. Um, probably the closest we're going to get to a sandbox mode, at least for a good long while, but that's... It is what it is. There's, there's at least there's some opportunity to theory craft and test and what have you um, in conquest. Of course, you have to try to factor in the data cards and all the mission specific mission parameters. By the way, look at Candorus just absolutely face fucking everybody on this team. I mean. Candorus is just a savage. Uh, I wish I wish my Candorus was like that in other facets of the game. <laughs> uh, sadly, he is not. I am keen to see Candorus with Bo-Katan and Armorer. Uh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe I'll do some theory crafting um, when Bo Katan comes out. Um, I'm low on crystals compared to when, you know, my normal amounts when we have a character release. Um, normally I have a, a whole lot of crystals saved up before a character release, but we just had. Um, Dark Trooper a little while ago and I consciously chose not to vault to get him immediately not thinking we were going to get another tune so soon and then sure enough we get Bo-Katan um, so I'm definitely going to buy the $20 pack I always buy the $20 packs uh, I I don't I haven't decided if I'm gonna vault yet. Um, we'll see how good she is. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. Um, yeah, and I like this. I can buy Razor Crest shards, so that's nice. So apparently sectors three through five. I had a minor panic attack thinking I may have missed that opportunity in previous sectors, but it is. Sectors three through five that you can buy Razor Crest shards. Um, so, you know, if you haven't gotten there yet, don't panic. You didn't miss it. Uh, it's only three through five. Um, Roxy's playing with her Nyla Bone. I fucking hate these things. Because we don't have rugs in our apartment. She always brings them up to the couch and then drops them off of the couch. And it just... It's so annoying. I don't like loud noises. Um, I don't like yelling. Uh, I 
just, yeah, so. Yeah, I don't, uh, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Stock market futures look good for tomorrow. Hopefully they stay that way. Um, yeah. Most signs are pointing to the virus situation improving in most places, not all places. I still wear a mask even though I'm fully vaccinated and most of the people I interact with are fully vaccinated. Um, just because there's no way to, you know, outwardly identify someone that has been vaccinated. Uh, I did contemplate getting a big stamp on my forehead or tattoo even that said, I'm vaccinated, calm your titties. Because I smoke, right? Um, I'm not wearing my mask when I smoke. And you will not believe, or maybe you will, the number of people that like, shield their face even though they're wearing a mask or like turn their heads when they pass me even you know while I'm smoking um which is kind of hilarious um <laughs> I mean I I get that no one wants to get sick and you want to be really careful but uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be okay <laughs> uh you're not walking right in front of my fucking face, but whatever. Uh, I guess it's better that people be overly careful than than care less, right? But uh, yeah, as if as if smokers didn't already feel like social pariahs. If we do even more so now with COVID, um, yeah. <laughs> Kind of interesting that the state of New Jersey allowed uh, smokers to get priority access to the vaccine. Um, I, I, I mean, I get it in so far as smokers are definitely uh, more at risk than non-smokers. Um, but smoking is a self-inflicted wound. So it's a little bit different from someone with an underlying condition. Um, but whatever. Uh, the more people that get vaccinated and the faster they do, so the better, regardless of whether they're smokers or whatever. Uh, yeah, man, and we all just want to, like, you know, go back to leading our comparatively normal lives, man. I get it. I get it. I know I've, I have been and very much still am a big proponent of wearing masks and social distancing and being careful and all that. That's not because I like it. Uh, I don't like it. It's fucking terrible. But, you know, some people are just very short sighted and they're like, I'm not wearing this fucking mask. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. It's harder to breathe in it, it makes you sweaty, but it lowers the rate of transmission. We could have been over this nonsense if, you know, well, if it wasn't uh, unconstitutional for the president, whether it's the current president or the previous president, uh, if either one of them had said there's a federal mask mandate for all Americans, anyone residing within the continental, or not even continental, the 50 states that would have been great. We would have been over the uh, virus a lot sooner, but that's uh, that's unconstitutional, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm no con law expert, but I'm pretty sure that's unconstitutional. Um, so unfortunately, people were left to their own uh, devices, and many people did not wear masks. Many people don't believe that masks work. I have a couple in my guild that don't believe that masks work. Um, and look, nothing is 100%. Even fucking birth control isn't 100%, but it's certainly better than 0%, at least in my opinion. Ooh, Edmonton already scored two goals against Calgary, and there's only, they're only 12 minutes into the first period. I love hockey. Um, 
I so rarely get to watch it because it's usually blacked out on YouTube TV. At least Ranger games are. But, uh, yeah. Hockey is a great sport. If only because people beat each other up from time to time. But they're such gentlemen about it. I mean, you, it's like the only sport I know that you drop your gloves, fight somebody, and then when the fight's over, you just move over to the penalty box. Any other sport, if a fight broke out, you'd, like, you'd have to throw people out of the game because they just would never stop fighting. Like, look at baseball. Anytime there's a bench-clearing brawl, I mean, think about how long it takes for the umps to get that shit back under control. Two favorite sports in the world, ice hockey and rugby. Um, all right, what else? It's a problem with making so many videos in such quick succession. I very quickly run out of things to talk about. Yeah, I have been getting absolute garbage luck with data cards. Garbage, garbage, garbage luck. Last, in normal mode, I had several turn meter reduction um, data cards. And this one, I only have two. I have two, I think. Um, I did, I did today, in doing sector four, get another four dot data card, which is booming voice. I got booming voice last time. Booming voice is awesome. Anytime the leader does anything, the whole team assists. Which you have to be careful for certain feats, but it, generally speaking, it is an awesome fucking data card. <sighs> Alright, we are slowly getting to Darth Revan. Uh, I didn't record uh, all of the feats that I did, like marking 40 people or... Um, Winning with no attackers in your team or whatever. I, I'm, I didn't record all of those because this video is long enough already and it's at two times speed. Um, so I, I didn't want to subject you guys to my charming personality uh, any longer than you really have to. Uh, so you're welcome. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. Yeah, I do like I do like getting to use much more of my roster than I really do otherwise. Yeah, sure. I guess in GAC with all the teams you're using a good bit of your roster, but half of it is on defense. So you're really not getting to use them. They're just placeholders. Um, I like I like Conquest. I, I, at first I wasn't sure, um, but that was normal mode. Normal mode was kind of stupidly easy. Again, because it's normal mode, so it makes sense, right? Hard mode is good. Um, it's definitely piqued my interest. And here we go. Sector 3, final boss, Darth Revan. Um... It is, it is a little difficult. So you'll see I'm going to go with this first. I don't even remember what the feats are because they're grayed out half the fucking time. We'll see. Yeah, so this that's one of the things that you're going to have to get lucky on if you run Momo is that mark. Um, if the mark goes to... Darth Malak when you're running Momo, um, it's going to be a little bit problematic. So you will need some RNG, but uh, it's definitely doable. I don't even read which one that was. That's not even the one I care about. I'm going to try it again. I guess we're trying it again with the same team. I don't even remember why I did that. I think I wanted to three star at first. Mm. 
Look at all those bombs. God, I love Jawas. Stop it. You stop it. Alright. Yeah, I think I just wanted to three star it. Oh, yeah, because that was one of the feats. There you go. All right. This one sucks. Sucks. I thought maybe this would work. Nope. <laughs> uh, I did end up picking this one up, too. Deadly momentum. All right. And then I try this. See, when Malik gets that mark, it's problematic. And then HK hits like a fucking truck, dude. Absolute truck. Oh, I guess I did record some of my other Sith battles. I think I actually literally did this so that I could stop and think about what team to use versus Darth Revan to get the 40 crits. So if there's more of these, I'm just going to quickly cut them out, and then we'll skip ahead. And I don't even win this one, too, so it's just a waste of energy. All right, I cut a couple minutes out of here. All right, so then I try this. Guess what? Spoiler alert, it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work for the 40 crits anyway. Because SLKR just kills everybody too quickly. So, to get the 40 crits, you really need a death by a thousand cuts team. Um, which is Momo. That's Momo, the de almost the definition of Momo. And here it is. Momo with Ray as the fifth. I know. Doesn't make sense. Why is Jyn Erso in there? Why is Ray in there? Because she's obviously not a rebel fighter, which takes away from the whole point of Momo. But Ray is honestly just in there to keep everybody alive long enough to get the 40 crits. To whirlwind the fuck out of Malak so he's not fearing and life-draining everybody. Because then, after that, it's a lot easier. HK hits like a fucking truck, but Malak is still way more annoying. I whirlwinded Malak to get him out of there. Getting plenty of little, you know, tiny little crit hits with 500, 700, a couple of thousand. Which is the Momo fashion, Right? Quickly get out, get these guys out. Yep, somebody's gonna die. Mothma's gonna res. Now we just have Revan. Doesn't even matter because as long as Ray and Mothma are alive, we're good. Gets a little close here. Ultimate just in time. And boom. And look at that. 